in the Ewutu Senya East constituency after gun wielding men stormed the premises. Eyewitnesses say the men, numbering at least 15, arrived at the center around 8 a.m. and tried to sack some prospective voters. This resulted in a scuffle that saw gunshots fired and three motorbikes burned. Uh, the situation in Kaswa here, here is more like a war zone. Um, normally, I wake up in the morning to do my usual morning monitoring um, across the various registration centers. And there is one center which is just um, adjacent to my house. Um, this morning, I went there to greet them, then moved to other centers. Then uh, I remembered I had to take something from home to give to someone, so I just got home. Then I had warning shots. I had gunshots. I don't know whether I was warning shots. I had gunshots. Three. So I moved out and I saw a lot of people rushing towards me, towards my house. Then I asked what was going on, so they narrated the incidents to me. And I moved to the center myself. Well, what happened there was, Howard Coulson came there. Howard Coulson, the minister for special whatever that ministry is called. She came there, stood there, instructed her boys to shoot and kill people yeah, at no, the center right. because it was not a warning shot. Some of the shots, uh, the bullet shots could be found uh, on stores in people's houses. So it was to shoot, it was a targeted shooting. Three shots, then three motorbikes were bent down. Listen, this is not the people of NDC that she is attacking. She is attacking the good people of Ghana. She's attacking the good people of Kaswa, the, the, the wise people of Kaswa, and the Kaswa people in Kaswa are more discerning. They see what she has done, and they will, they will, they will reward her for her actions. Listen, we are talking of policies. We are talking of development. We are talking of good initiatives. Eight years, what have you brought on the board? Show us what you have done for the good people. Of if you cannot show us, stop killing us. We are tired of the brutes. We are tired of these hooligans. We are tired of these uh, shooters. We are tired of beating us. The people of Ghana, the people of Kaswa have worked up. We are ready to defend ourselves now. We will not sit down for people to look unconcerned. We will not sit down for the police to look unconcerned. The good people of Kaswa, the good people of Ghana would rise up and defend ourselves. We will not sit down for that woman, that woman. She is a woman. I am their woman. And that is the difference between the two of us. I will forever stand up and protect the good people of Ewutu Senya East constituency. Because of this, the center here has been closed down, has been shut down. We don't know when they are coming back because the EC officers fear for their lives. This is what someone who calls herself a mother can do to the good people of Kaswa. Thank you. Said the police command himself to the grounds. They were there to survey. They said the investigations are ongoing. We have picked uh, uh, the boys that uh, had their motorbikes bent to go to the police station to also put in their statements. So from there, we will see what we will also do as a political party, as a leader of a constituency, and as a, as, as, as a mother who, who governs the people in this country. Joseph Akable joins us on the line to give us an update. Um, Joseph, so first of all, what have you gathered? Um, what happened there this morning? Uh, so Daniel, it's a mystery that uh, the eyewitnesses don't know how to unravel it. And it's something that the police are trying to unravel as well. As I speak to you currently, I am at a divisional command uh, where the two individuals at the center of this controversy are both present. That is the MP, maybe Sarah Kumsin, and the NDC's candidate, Phyllis Noyo. They are both present here. And in fact, some 10 minutes ago, uh, the, both of them, they, in terms of the two, they had to be restrained by a policeman from engaging in physicals. They were advancing towards each other, hurling insults at each other, and the police had to come in and separate them. Uh, in terms of the information we have picked up from persons who were close to the incident, they tell us that the registration exercise had shortly started when some individuals who were in a car uh, alighted from the car and asked some three individuals who were on motorbikes to move their motorbikes away from the registration center. Uh, they declined to move the motorbikes away, and before the eyewitness said they realized they had gunshots, uh, they saw people flee from the registration center, and the three motorbikes were bent completely. Uh, the AC officials packed their registration kits and quickly abandoned the registration center. And after the time we got here, uh, some few minutes after 9 a.m., the registration center was completely deserted, while uh, the ashes in terms of the motorbikes could be seen at the center. Uh, the police is currently taking statements from individuals who are uh, witnessed the scene to try and understand 
what exactly happened. So we heard uh, from the NPC's candidate, made those allegations against Baby Sarah Kumsin. I spotted her here. I did try to engage her. She declined to grant an interview, saying that she's not going to speak until uh, the police get to the bottom of this particular matter. But I right. started with Kojo Enim, who is part of his hair campaign team. Mm -hmm. and he makes the point that uh, they are not behind these attacks and that they are equally baffled by what has transpired here. They say that this is not the first time such violence has happened in the area. And they also make the counter accusation that they believe that it is the NBC that is behind this particular allegation, uh, this particular incident. And so, as it stands now, you have two individuals trading accusations. You have eyewitnesses. Right. Who, all they could hear were gunshots. And we still uh, tell us as to what exactly led to the violence. But what we can report for a fact is that there's no registration kind of going on at that particular center as the EC officials have fled for safety. Joseph, thank you very much. Uh, keep gathering that info. And when we have a clearer picture of what happened, we'll come back. Now, a combined team of police, military, and environment task force operatives, operatives are on the streets of Accra as part of efforts to strictly enforce COVID-19 protocols. Maxwell Agbagba encountered some culprits 